Hi, Elliot Lander here. I'd like to speak for a few minutes today about the quote-unquote controversy over fat-derived cells versus bone marrow-derived cells. A lot of patients are being told that you have to use bone marrow or have to use fat, and it's kind of a funny discussion because sometimes I liken it to, you know, my karate school is better than your kung fu school, and you know, everybody always believes dogmatically that their technology is the best. But if you really isolate this, the nature and efficacy of the cells, and you take a bone marrow-derived stem cell, which is also an adult mesenchymal cell, and put it right next to a fat-derived stem cell, they're almost identical, except for a few markers on the surface of the cell. They're almost identical. So both cells are actually quite effective. So why do we use bone marrow, or I should say, why do we use fat over bone marrow? Well, in our case, all of our protocols are based on fat-derived cells, and we understand that it's very easy to derive fat. It's nearly painless to do a mini liposuction, whereas bone marrow is potentially quite painful to extract the, the cells from the bone marrow. Also, since we're doing point of care procedures for the most part, although we do have cell expansion under certain IRB protocols, but most of our patients are receiving you know, same day point of care treatments, we can get 10 to 100 times more stem cells from the fat than we can get from the bone marrow. And it is a bit of a numbers game. The higher the number of cells that you put into a damaged area, the more likely you'll shift that healing equilibrium and, and help the patient mitigate that condition and heal faster. So, so numbers count. And of course, the other issue is that uh, bone marrow would have to be expanded to get the same numbers as fat, uh, unless the patient's extremely young. So with age, bone marrow declines in, in efficacy and, and function, and the cells just don't grow as well in, in older people or in very sick people. Whereas the cells that are locked into your fat matrix are pretty resistant to age and disease. And there's a slight degradation, but nowhere near as much as with bone marrow. So if you're dealing with a 30 or 40 year old athlete, it may not make as much of a difference. But if you're trying to treat a chronic condition in an older patient, the factorized cells appear to be superior.